Hello and welcome back or thanks for joining us if it's your first time to the channel. If you've liked this video or any of my other videos, please consider subscribing. Subscriptions help me bring new content to the channel just for you. In today's quick look video, we are looking at the Harbor Freight Hallmaster two bike hitch mount. As you can see here, I have two about 1970s bikes hooked on it. I just drove this 900 miles as you see it here with these two bikes doing 75 miles an hour on the highway. Um, the only thing that I could really notice is that the bike rack does kind of shift left to right a little bit, but this was only an issue in parking lots and bumpy roads. When I was on the highway, it was totally quiet. I didn't hear any bikes rattling and it was only really an issue because you can see how the rack's a little close to the car and the handlebar to the inner bike was rubbing on the hatch a little bit. Um, but like I said, I only really heard it where it was bumpy in the parking lots. The hitch system here actually pivots. If I can take this pin out with one hand, which I probably can't, you can actually pivot this forward so you can access your trunk or hatch. Um, there's a little knob here that takes the tension in or out of the rod. And once you pull this pin, you can pull the bikes forward and they pivot in the non-marring hydroplastic or thermoplastic mounts or whatever they call them. And then the bikes sit on their tires and you can access the cargo. Seen here is the tension adjustment knob that you can screw in to stop the upper rod from wiggling back and forth once the pin is in. This is the, I guess, non-traditional pin for the hitch. It threads in as opposed to a pin that goes all the way through, but it does still have the safety clip. So you will need some tools to A, assemble this, B, install it to the vehicle. Um, here's a shot of it with no bikes on it, as you can see. Um, I'm complaining that it's not really sticking out far enough, but this could be my vehicle's hitch. It could be a little bit recessed. And I do wish these upper bars were just a little bit longer because that handlebar that I'm trying to attempt to point at there did rub against the hatch lightly. While you're at Harbor Freight picking this thing up, go ahead and grab yourself a 14, 17, and 19 millimeter wrench. Um, you will need these for assembly. The upper screws which you assemble here are a 17 and a 14 head you'll have to bolt these arms on and you will need a 19 millimeter wrench to thread that pin through your receiver and into the bike rack when you install it thank you for tuning into this video i hope this helped um, shed some light on whether you were interested in this bike rack or not i would totally recommend it for the 44 dollars plus the coupon we know you have um, for harbor freight this worked for me i bought this for the road trip 900 miles no complaints worth 45 bucks Thanks for watching.